Next, we have to quickly talk about this. Please, you have to. Um, Dark Side Field, DSP, got himself a couple of new bubble machines as improvements for the stream. Whilst Wings of Redemption and Boogie are out here trying to get as far away from level one as possible by improving their lives, by getting healthy and all that malarkey. Dave Chappelle thought the Dave Chappelle. Um <laughs> what's his name? Phil Brunel thought the best thing to do. DSP thought the best thing that he could do was go out and get some bubble machines. That's how he's kind of trying to escape the accusations of being on level one. By getting some fucking bubble machines. Can you believe it? Can you? Let's see. Let's play this. Let's play this. Big up Snort Hogan. Come on, are you going to work? There we go. Well, let me tell you something, brother. Snort, snort, snort. Tell you. Drip, snort, snort. I got the drip. Last night, a fan of mine contacts me and says, Phil, I've been following your streams recently and I saw... I swear to God, DSP might have the, might have the, he might have the most annoying voice of any streamer or content creator I've ever heard in my entire life. Sam, a fan of mine, so a fan of mine, guys. Like that voice is painful, bro. And he doesn't shut up six days a week. Content creation full-time content creator 14 year career and he sounds like that jesus christ the horror uh, that you had mentioned something interesting that you may want for your streams and just so you know i think it's a good idea and i would like to offer this to you it's edited slightly there's a slight picture don't get me wrong but this is what it actually sounds like and look at that face also that's a face only a mother could love in it fuck you know the snort sacks look at those Jesus Christ. This guy allegedly is 41 years old, you know. Would you believe that? He's 41 years old. He looks 60. Shit. <clears throat> really? <clears throat> like, yes, I would actually like to offer you something that would improve your streams. Would it be all right if I got it for you? All right? And I said, I guess. I don't see why not. Also, why does he always lie about fans sending him stuff? Instead of just saying he bought it himself. Why would a random fan be at home thinking, oh, I know what I should do. Buy Phil some random kitty fucking bubble guns. No one would think that. He obviously was out on his day off on Flipping Wednesday. He passed by a shop and saw them and thought, yeah, let me buy them. That's clear as day because these are the sort of type of things you imagine they get, you know, they get pushed when you're in um, shopping malls. The vendors in the middle of the shopping mall will be like, you know selling them because you know it's the summertime get kids to play around them and shit so you probably saw one of them saw a bunch of five-year-olds around this vendor selling these bubble machines and the first thing the 40 year old man that looks like he's 64 that'd be perfect for my streams he clearly bought it for himself but he keeps lying that he got sent by a fan you didn't get sent by a fan you're lying and by the way this is a fan you know they've been uh, they've ordered something for me before so they kind of you know they I know that they're trustworthy. It's not like some asshole who says, I'm going to send you something. I open it up and there's like a loaf inside. You know what I mean? Like a like the other, the bad loaf. They're not going to mail me loaf. They're going to mail me something good. Scott Huma. So I said, all right, <clears throat> sure, why not? <clears throat> so I agree. And they say, okay, well, I'm glad because I ordered it for you and it's coming tomorrow. And I was like, really? Like, yeah, ordered it off Amazon. And... You know, Amazon shipping in yeah. my area is super quick because I live in Seattle, well, the outskirts of Seattle, and Seattle is the hub for Amazon. This is actually the part of the country where everything starts. So you order something off Amazon in this area, you can get it sometimes same day, Yo. usually by the next day. Big up in in regards to Francis Ngannou, out of the three African kings, Usman and Adesanya, I view him as the most intelligent despite spending his childhood in the sand mines. Yo, big up that Indian dude. Appreciate the $10 super chat, my friend. Thank you so much. Yeah, I'd, I'd go as far as that, I'd say. Maybe in terms of his brain and stuff. I, I think he's more wise than actually intelligent. He's just got loads of life experience. So maybe he didn't go to traditional, he didn't go for traditional schooling, whatever it may be. 
But I think because he legitimately has one of the most interesting journeys of all athletes I've heard in maybe recent years, in terms of just him getting to fucking Europe in the first place was fucking crazy. So that maybe makes him more wise because of the things he's kind of had to be, what, what he's kind of experienced, who he's seen, the things he's seen, the things he's passed along uh, to, throughout the entirety of his life, for sure, I think would make him more wise than super intelligent. But for sure, out of those three guys, he's definitely got his head screwed on right. But I think, if anything, all three have anyway. They all handle losses really well. They carry themselves amazingly. Maybe you think they're a bit corny, especially um, when it comes to um, Usman and fucking, um, what's his name? Kamara Usman and um, Israel maybe most dead too bit corny but I think they all kind of carry themselves really well they're real credit to Africa so big up my fellow African brothers alright so I'm like wow well this is kind of cool I hope you didn't send me a loaf he said no I didn't send you a loaf I sent you this thing that I thought would be very helpful for the streams so ladies and gentlemen I would like to introduce something to the stream something new alright it arrived yesterday and I'm excited to introduce it by the way, this is a mature adult with a business degree. All right. This is someone else's idea. I'm not going to lie. Someone else came up with this idea. It was not mine. Of course it's not yours. You don't have any ideas. You're a fucking DSP. The, the whole point of a DSP is to never have ideas. You sit there, wait for fan interaction, wait for them to give you information, wait for them to handhold you through games, to suggest names for shows. Like everything is fan, 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 because you're dumb as fuck and have no ideas of your own and you're lazy. So, yeah, for sure it's not your idea. All right. But I feel like I can uh, I can debut it now. And it will be something interesting and fun for the streams. All right. We'll definitely add something. And uh, I wonder what it could be. What the, ah! Ah! <laughs> ah! Yeah, the, the, screens, the green screen is getting on my nose a bit. Let me see if I can find one without a green screen. This is from Snort Hogan. He uploads clips with that effect on it. Let's see if I can find one without a green screen effect. Uh, who's got one here? Bubble machine. Someone must have one here without the fucking flickering. Does anyone clip it without the flickering here? Snort Brew. No, no, no. Someone must have it. No one's having it. I guess not then. There we go. Is that the one? Yeah, there we go. Let's see this one. This should be the one. But guys, we're an hour. Come and skip through. Give me the snort machine. Oh, now it's in black and white. Okay, cool. I, you know what I mean? Like a like the other the bad loaf. They're not gonna mail me loaf. They're gonna mail me something good. So I said, all right. All I'm right. Sure. Why not? Why not? Mm. So I agree. I agree. And they say, okay, well, I'm glad because I ordered it for you and it's coming tomorrow. And I was like, really? Like, yeah, ordered it off Amazon. And the you know, Amazon shipping in my area is super quick because I live in Seattle. Well, the outskirts of Seattle. And Seattle is the hub for Amazon. This is actually the part of the country where everything starts. So you order something off Amazon in this area, you can get it sometimes Ooh, same day. special. Usually by the next day. Well done. All right. Congratulations. So I'm like, wow. Well, this is kind of cool. Super Hope cool. you didn't send me a loaf. He said, no, I didn't send you a loaf. I sent you this thing that I thought would be very helpful for the streams. So, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to introduce something to the stream, something new. All right? It arrived yesterday, and I'm excited to introduce it. All right? This is someone else's idea. I'm not going to lie. Someone else came up with this idea. It was not mine. All right? But I feel like I can... Uh... He's rocking so much on the XY, on the XY axis, isn't it? Fuck it, no, the rocking is non-stop, like, just sit in one position, you fucking freak. I can debut it now, and it will be something interesting and fun for the streams, alright? We'll definitely add something, <laughs> and, uh, I wonder what it could be. What the, ah! Ah! <laughs> Permanently stuck on level ah! one. And he's, he's, he's firing off this little gun machine with all the bubbles inside his little snort fort and then glancing over at the chat to make sure the chat are having as much fun as him and they might send him over some shekels. What an absolute redact. Oh, my God. Holy shit. That's a lot. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you a bubble gun. That was pretty awesome. And that was like half a second of holding it down. The, the bubble gun is amazing. 
All right. Look, it- look how happy he is. He's genuinely over the moon. He legitimately thinks this makes him look cool or funny or something. Sir, you're 41 years old. Especially with, you know, in contrast with what Wings and Boogie did, flying all the way from their homes all the way to the UK to box, you know, taking off their shirts and shit, exposing themselves to the world, embarrassing themselves in some degree, but also earning a lot of people's respect. And here you are, in contrast, at home in your snort fort, buying yourself bubble machines as an incentive to people to what? To tip him. Because for sure, this ain't going to be free. Let's, let's make that for sure. If this is free, I'm going to be shocked. There's some sort of monetary incentive tied to these flipping machines. Before, he would do the individual bubbles and it'd be like, a, if you do 100 likes, but for sure, this is going to be a tip. I'm, I'm for sure of it. This is going to be like, if you give him five, $5, he's going to, I don't know, press it down for five seconds or something. Definitely money involved in this shit. It is absolutely amazing. There's a catch to it. This thing uses a lot of bubble juice. That's the bubble juice it came with. And it uses a lot of bubble juice. Bubble juice. Bubble juice. Why do you keep smoking? Look at his fucking mouth. He's so annoying, man. I fucking hate this guy. I so if I even like hold it down for more than half a second, this thing starts shooting out like dozens and dozens of bubbles all over the place. He legitimately might be the only person on social media or on the internet that makes content that I legitimately hate and who I wish no good thing happened to. You know everybody else you wish good goodwill, you know, you'll get over it, you'll figure it out. He's the only person, content creator, I think, out there who I legitimately hate. Legit. He is so unlikable. And it was funny because I, I tried it yesterday for the first time. And Kat says, Wow, that's really good, but be careful because you're in a room with a bunch of electronics, and if you go crazy, right, you might end up like soaking all your electronics in bubbles and you know, and also, you know, it gets everywhere. You gotta be careful. (laughs) His wife told him what? You gotta be careful the bubbles. (laughs) Oh, this guy is not real. He's not fucking real. He can't be real. I was like, oh, okay. It was actually funny. Because yesterday I'm talking with my moderator team, okay? Where do you talk to your moderator team? Where do you speak to them, Phil? Do you have a secret Discord? Are you finally exposing yourself again? And I told them, hey, guys, guess what? I got something new for the streams tomorrow. And they go, oh, no, Phil, this is a setup. I was like, what are you talking about? They go, oh, did someone send you a gun that looks like a handgun? So you put it on stream and everyone will look and think that you have a gun on stream and try to get you banned from YouTube. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see. Oh, my fucking God, man. He's surrounded by legit dent heads. Legit dent heads you're surrounded by. Your whole mod team wear helmets at home. And then not to ride a bike. This is an authentic Glock. And uh, I'm got, now I'm going to be banned from YouTube because this is such a dangerous weapon. All right? You can't send your kids to my streams because I'm weaving firearms. <laughs> okay? So what it is... The constant glancing over at the chat to make sure people are sending him money fucking infuriates me as well, by the way. Looks like an alien blaster, doesn't it? It kind of looks like the alien blaster from, like, Fallout. But just to show you how crazy good this is, watch this. Ready? Look at the face. Look at his face. Look at his face. That's a lot of bubble. Look at his actual face. Look how happy he is. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the dual-wheeled bubble guns. Yes, the... It's not firing. Oh, here we go. The dual-wheeled bubble guns. That's what I'm talking about here on DSP Gaming, baby. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. (laughs) Oh, my God. Wow. Oh, my. I'm soaked. Dude, there's bubbles everywhere. (laughs) It went absolutely everywhere on my setup. That's right. I'm a Kimbo bubble, baby. Yeah. Woo. This nigga needs to get run over by a fucking semi truck or something, man. Legit. All right. I dare you to say I'm still on level one now. But anyway, I have to now get a tissue and clean because, like, the bubbles went everywhere. Like, they're seriously all over my desk here. Which is what I was, honestly, that's what I was afraid of. It was the bubble guns like this. <sighs> is Jasper terrified of the bubble gum? Asked Barrel Shroud. I shot the bubbles yesterday downstairs and he was just like, whoa, whoa, like, like looking all around. I don't think he's scared of it. At the same time, it definitely he's like, "What the hell is that?" This guy can't be legit. I don't think it's. I don't think this is like. I, obviously, he's a real person, 
But do you, do you understand that there's people like this operating outside in the real world, looking after or maintaining a household with a kid that's a cat, <laughs> looking after a family? This man's 41 years of age. Fucking hell, mate. What an absolute spanner. But yeah, DSP's got some new bubble guns. Um, he's probably going to incentivize them in some sort of monetary scheme to get more money out of his dent heads. Uh, he's now pretending and lying that someone sent it to him as a donation or something because they love him, which is all of these bullshit. <sighs> it never ends with that guy. It never fucking ends. Um, but yeah, man. It never ends. It never fucking ends. 